Hey guys, Kev here, and I got some stuff from Olight to show you. So Olight was kind enough to send me a few things. They do have a sale coming up this month, uh, but I will do a separate video on a couple items for that uh, later in the month. But uh, for now, they sent me a few things, not this, sorry, that I asked to check out. And uh, here they are. So these two came the other day, so I've had a little time with them. These just showed up today, so I will be unboxing those. These are uh, not flashlights, so you guys who don't like the flashlight stuff, stay tuned. Now this is called the iMini 2. This is very cool. I'm probably not going to do beam shot videos for these two just because they're, they're not like uh, high performance flashlights you need to really worry about that with. Um, this is a keychain light that I really love, honestly. I think this is probably the best keychain option if that's what you're after. Now, I'm not after a keychain light, I'm after an EDC light, but if you were to take up some space on your keys and just call it good with a, with a light on your keys, this is the one, guys. You pull it off of the base and it's magnetic, and then you have a little uh, flashlight that you can utilize, and then you just... Boop, pop it back on, shuts off, so simple, on, off, and that's it. And you have this little key ring right here, and this plastic sleeve or silicone sleeve covers this area, which is where you're going to put your keys, your key ring on. But this is also your charger, so you basically just take <clears throat> your computer, power bank, whatever you want, and you pop this in there, and bada bing, bada boom, you are now charging your flashlight. Uh, genius. That's freaking amazing that it's that simple to just pop it in and charge. And you probably have to do that every once in a blue moon because you're not going to be using this thing constantly. I mean, if you are, cool, right? Um, the only downside with that, I guess, is you have to take it off your key ring to charge it. But considering the benefits of it, I think it's basically the coolest little flashlight I've seen. In terms of specs, if you guys want specs for some of this stuff, we have them right here. You get 50 lumens on this thing. And I'm telling you, it feels like more than that. Um, it feels like a couple hundred, but uh, you know, whatever. Uh, you can use this around your car, around your truck around the house to just find stuff under stuff, keys under the couch, that kind of thing. And it's just so usable. The magnet is strong, so it pulls it back in nice. It's not going to shake out or anything, but it's easy enough to pop apart to get it going. It's just genius in my opinion. You know, the only fail point I guess could be this. If you lose this, then you are risking damaging these connectors, but you really would have to damage these, right? This part doesn't matter so much, but as long as you keep this on and then put the key ring over that, I think you're perfectly fine. It comes with, just wanna double check because I was hoping maybe it came with an extra one of those. Um, it does. Ah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Thank you, Olight. It comes with an extra silicone cover. So if you damage this one or whatever, boom, you have a backup. And then right here, it actually comes with uh, a, a carabiner. So I guess what they're saying is you can make it even easier on yourself. You can use this, right? So watch, you clip this on like that, and then you put this on your key ring. Boom. Now you need to charge it. It's super easy. You just have to push this carabiner down and pull it off and then pop this off and boom, charge it. You're good to go. Uh, they thought of everything here. I mean, look at that. Super simple. And then your key ring's here, so you don't have to fiddle with this constantly to charge it. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, yeah, this adds a little bit of length to the thing hanging off your keys. That, for me, would be a downside. But the plus side is you don't have to mess with key rings to try to get this on your keys. And it may be difficult to get an actual key ring on here. Um, not sure I didn't try that. But... This thing's genius, and I think uh, Olight absolutely killed it with this thing. 
So I know this is not a uh, new item by any means. I think this has actually been around a little while. I just saw it on their site uh, when they asked me if there's anything I wanted to check out. And I just was like, whoa, this thing looks awesome. I mean, considering it's the iMini 2, there's probably an iMini 1, right? But uh, definitely one of my favorite things I've ever seen from Olight. Uh, FYI, there are links. There is a link down below to Olight. I also have a discount code. So I think all the stuff I'm showing you today, there's one more that I didn't show you earlier. I'll show you. Um, all of these should be available and they should work with the discount code LEFTYEDC. So you can save 10% on your order with that. This is called the Diffuse. And this is uh, another just sort of differently shaped flashlight. They have the Arkfeld, which is flat. And um, I guess they thought it'd be cool to kind of make one in a pentagon shape. So you have five sides, which is a pentagon. You have an optic in here. So this is not a super throwy type flashlight. It's going to be more for uh, closer distances. I think this right here would be a fantastic walk in the dog light because of how small it is compact, easy to use, the battery it uses, uh, the functionality. You can throw tritium in back here, which is pretty cool. But you have this uh, switch right here, and there you go. And then you hold down, and you have your modes. So you have low, medium, and high. And then you have a double tap for turbo and a triple tap for strobe. And then uh, you have off, obviously. If you hold down from off, you will be met with a sort of moonlight mode as well, which is pretty dang cool. Now this has a 14,500 size battery in it, 3.6 volt, 920 milliamp hour. You could probably, yeah, and you can charge it right here. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, so that is how you charge the uh, battery is right here with your USB-C. Now you could take your own batteries if you wanted to. I'm assuming because this doesn't have the magnetic charging, I could drop in uh, one of my batteries here and let's just take a look. This is a pretty high powered uh, battery here. And there we go. Yeah, you might get a little more juice out of something like this. It's got 10 amp max discharge rate. Um, but either way, it's got good lumens. I mean, it's it's not like the most powerful light in the world. That's not what they're after here. I think they're just after a really solid, small, compact EDC light. Like I said, perfect for I'm grabbing it to walk the dog kind of thing. Cool. Uh, would be cool if, oh, there it is said it would be cool if you could add some kind of a lanyard cord on here for that purpose to wrap it around your hand or something like that. But um, I believe there's also a lockout feature. If you hold down, let's see. Okay, hold down and now it is locked out. Hold down again and now we are back in business. So you have uh, some cool features on here. It is sort of a basic subset of pro or of uh, functionality, but I think that's good in this case. So there you go. And they have that ease of uh, ease of sharpening. They have that ease of charging with the USB-C on that battery that is included. But if you wanted to use your own type of battery, you could. Um, I only mention that because this is 920 uh, milliamp hour. And you can obviously buy things, you can buy batteries with much more uh, capacity. Like this right here has 1,250. I don't know if a flat top will work. We can uh, take a look here. They had a spring on both ends, so I would venture to guess. There's a spring down there. Yeah, I would venture to guess it might work. We'll see if it can connect on tightening. Yeah, I think it's connecting there. So let's see. Yep. Yep. So there you go. So I have 1,250 Philly, 1250 milliamp hour in there at that point, um, which gives you a little bit more uh, runtime, but lower output. Again, doesn't really matter in the case of this flashlight, I think. 
So there you go. That is the Diffuse flashlight from Olight. Really, uh, really pleased with both of these. I think this one's uh, cool in its own right and just different and interesting. But this one is an absolute banger. This is one of my favorite things I've seen them do. The next one here is uh, the Odical. This is one of the Odical models. Can't remember the exact number, it just says Odical there. And this is one of their butterfly uh, products, sort of, uh, what do you call it? What am I trying to say? It's a ballast song, jeez, Kev. It's a ballast song with a comb on the end, which is pretty cool. If you guys have been watching the channel, you've seen now the fork, which I still have the fork somewhere because it's just so fidgety and it has really good acoustics. This is a little bigger, so it's a little less uh, clicky with the acoustics. Still good. Um, and I'm glad they made it longer for the comb. And then there was also one with just like a couple of tools on it. Um, this one has a little uh, quarter inch slot right here so you can put in a, a quarter inch bit and try to you know use it if you want and you have a bottle opener on the end and then you have your comb uh, if you have a beard or something like that I mean they don't necessarily recommend that you use a metal comb and these are pretty spaced apart and thick but I think it would work it would definitely work on hair I think this is called the t2 and then they have tc4 here that's for the type of uh, titanium and then of course they all have this sort of glass breaker on the back I will say I'm waiting for them to make one of these with an actual knife I'd love to see one with a utility blade on it or an actual blade or a trainer um, because believe it or not these are some of the nicest feeling ballast songs now I've only handled mostly cheap stuff but this feels really solid, and then it has that magnetic connection down here to kind of just keep it together enough. doesn't have a lock, but it's enough. And I just really have enjoyed all of them, even though they're kind of novelty. They're just cool. So there's that. Um, let's check out this thing. So this is their multi-bit driver. Um, I thought it was a pry bar there for a second. And that looks like marbled carbon furbin. So this looks pretty cool to me. These two were ones that uh, my contact at Olight asked me if I wanted to check out. So the other uh, three, the first three I showed you there, the iMini, oops, the iMini, the Diffuse, and the Beard Comb, or uh, Comb, I asked to check out, and then they said, hey, would you want to try these? By the way, pause and read. This is for the diffuse if you wanted that info right there. So it goes up to 700 lumens, but you're pretty much sitting at 350 there on high. Perfect for a light like that. All right. So you have this. Yeah, that's, I mean, I think that's fat carbon, guys. Or camo carbon. That is a nice carbon fiber right there. Wow. Okay. Looks like a uh, four millimeter bits oh we have a lock on the back and a clip this is the odical d2 let's just see what happens push that over boom no i'm just kidding push that over so it's unlocked now and then slide no way does this come off oh my god it's fidgety boys I didn't know it was a fidget toy. What? Okay, sorry. Jeez, they're in there. Are they held in by magnets or what? So you push down on one end. Yeah, there's little, there's magnets in there. Oh, this is so cool. And then you can lock it. That's wild. Oh, no way. Look at that. <laughs> you know what that means, too? It's actually going to sit in there. Oh, and they even thought of that. Look at that. Oh, no, that's a magnet at the bottom. I was like, wait, what? I thought they thought of it. Let's see if it stays in there, though. Yeah, it's actually enough to hold on to that little T6 at the end. It holds on to it. <laughs> Dude, this is pretty smart. 
Now, of course, I wish it was quarter inch, but hey. So you're going to get a uh, T6 and T8. Okay, I like that, that they didn't just go T6, T6, right? So you literally have, you have four, so you have eight tools in here, or eight bits. T6, T8, flathead, and Phillips. Okay. You have a uh, hex 1.5 and a hex 2. And you have a uh, another Phillips and a larger Phillips. So are these Phillips the same? Because that would be dumb. PH00, and this is a PH0, so it's a little bit smaller here. So I do wish that maybe they did away with the hex and gave us a... Well, I only need the T10, but maybe T10 and 15 would have been cool, right? But as is, I mean, that's freaking amazing. And then you have the option of the just regular bit driver, which, okay, it's not going to be like a standard bit driver that we all use for disassembly where you can spin it, right? And it's super comfortable in the hand and whatnot, but... It is comfortable and you're gonna get good torque on it. So on the go in a pack, this is perfect for an EDC pouch or something. And then if you need torque, boom, drop it in there and now you have a really nice amount of torque. This thing is very cool. I didn't even know this existed. It has a little notch in there so you can get your nail in when you slide it over, which is pretty cool. So let's try this again. <laughs> That is wild, dude. This is cool. Um, so then you just drop these in. Okay, they go in easy. I thought they were gonna be like a little bit of a pain. No, look at that. Nope, here. And then when you wanna get them out, you just push down. So you push down on the front. I guess not the back, that wouldn't make sense. So you push down here, and then you can pull them up like that. Super easy. And then when you shut this and lock it, get a little rattle wait what was that rattle it's on my watch right i don't know what that is you can get it to rattle a little bit but really not much movement there that's super cool and i don't know if there's different um covers you can get like there's a screw here so i assume this comes off Beautiful. This is sick. Otical D2. I mean, this is pretty perfect for throwing in a bag or something like that. I, I think this is really nice, guys. So that's the Otical D2. And then we have the Otical P15. Here's the box for that one, by the way, if you're interested. The P15. So I didn't know they made a multi-tool. So are these scissors or are they uh, pliers? Because I'm hoping for scissors here. Yep, scissors, sick. Aluminum scales. It's a small little guy. I'm surprised it doesn't have a little lanyard thing. You know, you see that a lot on these. Okay, pretty stiff boy, nice. And then spring, yeah! You got a, geez, Kev. You got a nice spring. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm going to break them squeezing it. Okay. That's good. Usually stuff like this, if they suck, they'll just bend right there, right? Um, I have some cord. <laughs> see, let's try this cord. Yeah, slow or quick, front or back, doesn't matter. I'm cutting it. Nice. I got one more thing to try. I have these plastic uh, Q tips. These are tough, man. No problem. Wow. Okay. They did a good job on these scissors. Let's compare them to the 
reigning uh, champion in this category, the Leatherman Micra, right? I mean, we are competing here, are we not? U.S. made here, so let's see how these do. Oh, <laughs> say it ain't so, Leatherman. Oh, what? That's sad. Oh, man. I haven't had to use these too much, but damn, now I'm disappointed. I'll try to do it quick for you like I did with the other one. That's what I was saying. That's what happens with shitty skizzers. Let's see. Man, these blow, dude. That's freaking terrible. That is just sad. It'll probably cut this because it's hard. Ow! God damn, pinch the shit out of me too. Yeah, it's able to cut that, but interesting. I mean, no problem. So, the win goes to the Oracle P15 over here. So, let's see what's on the inside or on the outside. We have a couple of tools here. Oh, we have a um, combo tool. <laughs> what the hell is this? So, it's like a can opener, can opener. Maybe bigger cans? I don't know. That's interesting. Has the hook here. Man, that's sharp, dude. That's a blade, I think. That is a blade. Holy shit, that's a blade. Um, I need paper. I don't want to run over to my... I'm just going to grab a sticker. Shout out to Traditional Pocket Knives. Sorry. Well, it's not... Oh, wait. Am I cutting with the wrong thing? It feels like a blade. All right, well, maybe it's not a sharpened blade, but that is definitely a sharp... It almost looks like an edge, but... Anyway. All right. Didn't ruin that. So we have that thing. We'll look at the back. Maybe it'll tell us. And then here we have an actual blade. Well, now I might look... All right, I'm just going to get paper I was fighting it, but I love the blade shape. Nice uh, sheep's footy blade. Comfortable in the hand, actually. You know, uh, that's the one plus side to uh, O-Knife, O-Light, O-Knife using OEMs like Kaiser. You know, I don't know if that's who made this. Probably not. It's probably a multi-tool company. But they know, you know... Uh, they know how to get a sharp blade. They probably could have sourced the blade to have put in here. I don't know, but I'm surprised at how well that cuts because usually you wouldn't get one that cuts that well. And I can prove that to you probably here. Let's go back to the uh, the other guy here, which, you know, it's sad that the other downside to this obviously is uh, I have to open it to... Um, get to the tools these tweezers and everything are horrible by the way there is a blade in here right yeah so i think you have to do this and then you close it which is kind of iffy yeah, it might be sharp or not Yeah, it can kind of cut. Not terrible, but you saw this thing just... You know, that's the... Uh, one of the things with uh, Leatherman. They really tend to have poor blades. And we learned with the... Um, with the Leatherman Arc, their heat treats aren't that great either. Anyway, sorry. Uh... Uh, so this is a uh, flat or Phillips head driver. 
Then you have a flat head on this side right here. Perfect. Could also use that as a pry, I guess. And you even get a file? Oh, it's diamond coated, guys. That's nice. That's diamond coated. Dude, that's legit right there. I use, um, whenever I need to file something like a lock bar or whatever, I use my uh, Leatherman Arc. And it's diamond coated. You can see that. Look at that. This would actually be super useful for me, to be honest. I'm really impressed with this thing. I didn't even know it existed. Thank you to uh, Olight for recommending I check this out because I had no idea. Did we get them all? Yeah, I just don't know what that is. With the dual, does it tell us all the tools? No. So it's just kind of a can opener, can opener. Maybe one of them's a bottle opener, I guess. But then you have legitimately excellent scissors to go with it, you know? So I got to give them credit here. I would like to see a full size one of these, I think. Um, so there you go, guys. There's links down below. There's a, a discount code, Lefty EDC, that'll save you 10% on any of this stuff. As long as it's not already on sale, which means it's already on sale, which is great. Um, but we have the Oticle uh, T2 comb. We have the Olight Diffuse flashlight and the... Olight iMini 2 flashlight. Love this thing. We have the Oticle P15 and the Oticle D2. I gotta say, I'm gonna highly recommend the iMini 2, the P15, for, I, I don't know what the price is, so bear with me, but the, if this thing is like 50 bucks or less, it's a steal. I mean, this thing is phenomenal. Um, this thing's just cool. If you need something small and easy for a pouch, this is a great option for a driver kit. Um, I just wish it was quarter inch. And then, I mean, this is great. Uh, there's just, there's a ton of options for flashlights in this size and all of that. So um, it doesn't necessarily stand out for me. And this is, you know, gimmicky, but cool. So if you're into these, cool. These three, fantastic. So, all right. Thanks to Olight. Thank you guys. Let me know what you think down below. I'm freaking impressed and I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you later. Peace.